morning. Now, if any of you can read a map, you'll see that Chiang Mai is a long way away from Bangkok. We need to go to the Dom Wang train station for that. It's right up the north end of the city. We're going to be on the train most of the day today, trying to get there. So, let's go. We now got to go up there, get the train. It's the railway station up there. Crazy how it's completely suspended up there. It's mad. Just made it. Mate, it's the language barriers that kill you out here because you've got to try and explain to people where you want to go and how you want to get there. And then they're, they're trying to work out what you're saying and where you need to go. And it's just a nightmare sometimes. But it is part of the fun. It's part of the character building process that we're going through. Yeah, we've now got just over six hours on here. Now, you, they give you allocated seats and they actually stick by it as well. So, we're kind of just winging it at a minute, but I might have to move in a minute. Absolute nightmare. The train's broken down. Two hours. Two hours they reckon it's going to take. This is the six hour, six hour journey is now turned into an eight hour journey. At least go traveling, they said. Oh, lovely. Well, I don't know if there's anything to do around here. Probably not. It looks a bit dead. We're at a place called uh, Tatu Tarua Station. Oh, mate, interested. Oh, what an interesting development. Right. Nat's gone to find a, a nice refreshing drink for us. There are no signs in English anywhere, so she's just literally gone to a stall pointed at something and bought it. What is that? I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of sour. It's tasty, but I don't know what that is. I can't even work that out. That is a weird drink. What the hell? Oh well, that's not bad. How much was it? 30 baht? 30 baht for that, it's all right. Need to stay cool. It's f***ing hot, mate. Really hot. Right, it's been an hour and a half. He's just told us to get back on, so. Hopefully, hopefully we'll be back on our way in a second. Back on the road. On the, on the tracks. They are not comfortable at all. I've had to stand up every half an hour. There are toilets on these trains as well. You can see exactly why you get a big old haze over most of these countries. In the burning season, you can just see it all gets burnt off. All the fields are just black. Pretty mad. It's quarter to three, and we're not even there yet. Nine hours so far since we left the uh, since we left the hotel. Nine hours. Train food. I don't know what it is. It's, it's a little bit spicy. That's all chili in there. Chili and meat. It's not meat. Here it is. No, it's not. It's like batter. I think it's meat. It's not meat. It's like meat roll. Here we are. Finally. After nine and a half hours. Yeah. This place is really cool. You can't even read what any of these shops are. There's no, nothing in English. It's like proper. I had a look on the internet and it says that it's the most authentic city in Thailand. Finally made it to the hotel. The hotel we are staying at is called Fasai Hut. It is quite a nice hotel. You get a lot more for your money up here. It's got, I haven't even checked the bed yet. The bed's actually not that bad. It's better than what we've had. It's still a little bit tough though. The bathroom is very nice. The shower is big. There's a kettle. No tea and coffee though, by the way. Very tight. But yeah, it's a nice spot. The, the guy, the host is very, very friendly. He's, uh, it was really nice actually. A little bit too nice while I'm hungry, if you know what I mean. Like I'm a bit like, I just wanna, I just wanna get in, get done, get out, get food. First stop. As always, food. 
made this place is fancy what we found but it's got really good reviews no idea what to order Food is good. Don't ask me what it is because I don't know. No. This is stir fried chicken and cashew nuts. And this tastes like a green, just a green curry. That doesn't think it is, but it's definitely a green curry. It is hot. 40 degrees here. And it feels like it too. It's, it's bloody hot. Just got a one hour walk now to back into town. We need to get some cash out, to find a bank for that. If you don't know, take your passport and your card to a bank. You can withdraw money without having to pay the fee. Whereas if you go to an ATM, it's 220 baht every single time, no matter where you are or what ATM you are, what bank you have. Uh, so as long as you've got a MasterCard, you can get money out at the bank for free. And we also need to find a scooter to rent as well, because we're going to that national park tomorrow. And uh, it looks really good. I, I'm well excited for that. Money, check. Now, they don't really get much many tourists here and they don't speak English, so that one was a little bit challenging. They kept trying to get us to go back out to the ATM, but we was like, no, no, passport, we can do it with passport. And then they did it. Just check this place out, man. If you want the real Thai experience without all the touristy stuff on top, this is a good spot to come to if you want to see how they really live and you really want to experience what the country's like without all the tourism distorting your view we haven't really done much here yet it's a little bit overwhelming because no one speaks english but that's the whole point it's to the point as well where i don't even know where any of these shops are i don't know what they sell because i can't see i can't read the writing actually on them you can't even guess you've just got to have a look in the window and see what they sell and uh hope you find something you need This place is a little bit more pricey than usual, which is strange because you're in the, not in a tourist area, but they've got air conditioning in here and it's too hot out there for me to be eating street food. So <clears throat> we've just got a couple burgers in here. It's a Western menu. From all the way back there, is that right? Yeah. Mate, this beef burger is very good. And these wedges are probably the best wedges I've ever had. I'm not even joking. They're like really light and fluffy. That's it, mate. Because your big meat, meat hands are in the way. Yummy. And then this. Uh, and that looks like that. Looks unreal. Although he hasn't actually had a sip yet, which is pretty criminal. I've got the veggie burger. It's got like actual, not like a veggie patty, but it's got the real veggies in there. Hey, that veggie burger is very good. It's like a, it's got like a curry sort of sauce with it. It's like mayonnaise, but with like curry powder in it. It's like so good. Goes with the vegetables well, nice. Oh, we found a, a very authentic marketplace here. God knows what that is. You got these? Oh, crabs. Mate, we are a long way from the ocean. Right, hiring a scooter here is a little bit weird. They say, oh, you, ha you have to have a brand new scooter. You have to have a brand new one. So you've got to pay more, basically, if you want to take it outside the city. They say it's for safety, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so it's, it's over double to take it out, out of the city, but that's what we want to do, so that's what we're going to do. <laughs> this poor dude is having to wear that costume and it's 40, 40 degrees. degrees today, absolute trooper. He's selling flowers as offerings to the Buddha, I think. Oh, we found this nice little bakery here. We're going to try these. Yeah. What are they? Look at them. I don't know. They've got a little bee on them, so they might be have honey in them. They, all they have look honey. good, though. They all have the bee. I think that's the. the oh. oh. Well, we're getting these anyway. How's your treat, Dan? I ain't got a clue what it is, and it doesn't really taste like anything. Is it sweet? Only a little bit. Tastes like icing sugar. They're weird though. I'm eating my mango. Morning. We're off to Pampatapon this morning in Ban Mung. Man. It's about an hour's drive away. Um, and we're going on this. Just arrived at the National 
park. It took us about an hour to get here. We saw online that it was free, but we just paid 30 bucks per person and 30 bucks for parking. And we've got shit loads of tickets and they're all in time. We've got no idea what like what there is to do here, what we just paid for. So I guess we'll find out soon. But it looks really pretty so far. There's loads of like lime scale cliffs and stuff. So, and there's caves and waterfalls in that here. <laughs> lime scale. Not sure how deep it goes. Hopefully it goes quite deep. I don't really even know what else is here to be honest. This is something that found. This is a dodgy old bridge this. Did it say we need lights for this? Oh mate, what the hell is this? What is that? That is mental. What is it? I don't know. It's, it's a bug. It's some sort of bug. That is mental. What the hell? Look at that. What is that? Is that like some sort of stinger? Stinger. I don't know. That is so weird. Oh. Is that his eye? What is that? Is this fake? I feel like that might be. I feel like this isn't real. <laughs> this is fake. <laughs> Is that real? I don't know. <laughs> Touch it with your finger. Oh, don't know what it is. Weird. Look, what is that? It's like his teeth. It looks like this is a graveyard. <laughs> what the hell is this place? <laughs> Heaps of bats in here. Oh, mate. Yeah, I have absolutely no idea what that thing was on the floor. No idea. Some local came past and said, Bicey. I don't know what that means. But yeah. Loads of bats in him. <laughs> <laughs> we just walked all the way through this first cave and then it comes out to like a weird settlement. So we're like, don't really know where to go from there. So we decided to hop back on the old bike and we're going to keep going down this road here and just see what else there is along the way because this is not really what we were expecting, to be honest. My ass is so numb. <laughs> Quite cool. Right, we found the next cave. It smells like honey here. And it says, and, it, and this actually is called the Bee Cave because there's a lot of bees that make their hives here. Don't know why, but it's, you can smell the honey. It definitely, it smells really strongly of honey. Um, and they say that cave people used to live in here too, in this exact cave. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Hmm. There's a lot of bats in this one. That's a pigeon, but there's bats. Oh, yeah. And there's a lot of them. I can see them all. You see all these dark areas here? That's all bats. All of it is bats. We're supposed to walk through there, but I don't think I want to walk underneath all of them. Look how many there are. They're all bats. Yeah, it smells weird in here. I preferred the honey. <laughs> it smells like it. It smells like bat shit. Well, when we walk underneath them, I'm not walking underneath them. Don't look up with your mouth open. Are you actually walking under there? I think so. Well, look at the other side. Now you can actually come here a bit later on in the day, around dusk, and you'll just see lines of bats coming out of these caves which would be pretty cool, but we are here really early in the morning and I just don't think there's gonna be enough here to last all day. Well, we're on this trail now. We thought that it was just a loop round to go back to the bike. But it's kept on going and going and going and now we've kind of gone too far to go back. But I don't know exactly where we are, and we kind of got to go and find the. We got to go find the bike. Once we're out of here and find the road, oh, yeah, this is why you got to pay for a guide everywhere now. <laughs> <laughs> I 
finally found the road. Now we've got to walk all the way back along the road and find the bike. the menu now there are apps you can get which is really clever and it you take a photo of it is it yeah and then it translates it for you it's so clever they've got open wild boar fried rice why is it open i don't know i'm going to try it though maybe it's wild oh obviously wild boar <laughs> but what makes it open i don't know wild boar Well tough. Pretty good though. I don't even know. Could just be normal pork. Check out this pickled egg. Go on, Nat, try it. No, I don't think I can. Is it good? It tastes like jelly. Does it? Mm. Have a bit of the yolk? No. Absolutely not. The rest is good though, isn't it? Mm. Pretty impressed. I like it. Excuse me. Can we, have you got these in stock? Oh. Have you got have you got the stuff? Come on. Uh, yeah, Chocolate. one of those and the strawberry. Yes. Perfect. Capcom car. Go on. Oh, okay, no worries. Thank you. Cup and cup. Good result. Look at that. Easy as that. Oh, coffee place attached to here as well. And apparently the coffee's really good. This guy makes his coffee a real weird way. He doesn't use a machine. He measures everything out perfectly. Presses his own beans and uh, grinds them up at everything from the start. So, really interesting to watch. Really good, really good. It's got like a little like nutty aftertaste. It's probably one of the best coffees I've ever had. No joke, that was what that's really good. And it's just made us his like signature drink as well. Is it lem like lemony? Yeah. Lemon. Mm. Lemon coffee. Oh, it's so nice. Wow, it's very refreshing. Mm. Yeah. With fresh lemon, yeah. Hundred percent. If you if you're in this area, you need you need to come to this. Uh, you need to come to this little coffee place. It's very good. You can see he's just completely passionate about it. How he makes it, how he weighs everything out perfectly. It's, uh, it's definitely a craft for him, and it's, you can really taste it as well. Oh my god! Clean. Next stop, waterfall. In dry season, I'm not expecting much.
keeps on going and going and going and we actually don't know where it goes and we've only got half, half a bottle of water so we've decided to give it a miss we're turning back all the way back down now um, I think it's a sensible thing to do I was not expecting to do this oh mate it's quite they've actually come quite a way as well and I don't know if you can see but it's pretty warm um, very hot yeah hot isn't it hot and the fact that's in flip-flops as well it's not really very smart for us to be doing this once we lose light We're trying to, we're minding our own business, trying to drop the bike off again, and I'm literally soaked. Like I, I'm soaked. <laughs> Dance away. Look at me. What is that on your feet? Nose. Been done. They come up to me and put shit on my face and threw water at me. <laughs> we've been assaulted. <laughs> we're out here with all of our stuff, and the locals are 100% eyeing us as targets. We're going in here. It's too dangerous out here. delayed of course one hour so far ah. right the train's almost here gonna have to love you and leave your pit saying york it's been good fun goodbye bye pit saying york it's been real what it's been real real oh. can't take her anywhere <laughs> 